Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So today I found a weird uh, new ETF from NEOS. So I was kind of wondering what they were cooking up. So this is not final, but the proposed name of this thing is uh, NEOS Enhanced Income High Yield Bond ETF. Uh, so the date on this thing was uh, December 5th. Uh, it supposedly will have monthly distributions, but the expense ratio and the ticker symbol is not final yet. Um, over here, I guess that they're, they're aiming for February two, 2024 release. So let's see what else we can find on this guy. Uh, so they're looking for a total return from income and capital appreciation. Um, so providing tax efficient monthly income. So that's kind of vague. Um, but when you dig into this more, uh, instead of using treasuries, they're actually using like high yield bonds as a as the base. But then they're also adding on um, SPX put spreads, which is a little funky. So it kind of reminds me of kind of like this weird mishmash of like like TLTW plus maybe Jeppy, and then the, the SPX put spreads kind of reminds me of uh, of like THTA from uh, SoFi. Uh, so this one is pretty funky, um, but the SPX put spreads, it, it might uh, give uh, 1256 tax treatment, so 40% short-term tax rate and 60% long-term tax rate. But this is just like my, my guess because they, they mentioned uh, tax efficient income, so that's why uh, this is just a guess on my part. Um, so this is... Uh, the, the portfolio managers, they look familiar because like they're from NEOS and also, also Curve Invest. Um, and over here, they, they put out a rough estimated performance uh, of, of 4.39, which isn't that great uh, because this is based off of a old uh, uh, ETF. I guess they're taking it over. Um, so, so it'll be like 4% as a, kind of like the base, plus whatever they can get from like a SPX uh, monthly put credit spread. So again, uh, based off of like, kind of, I looked at the uh, the older, whatever this WSTCM credit, so like risk management institutional. So this is interesting because it looks like it's a, uh, it started off as a mutual fund, but now it's maybe it's kind of being converted to ETF uh, by NEOs. Um, the expense ratio is kind of high, so it's 1.25, but if they can return um, something decent, it might be worth uh, looking into. So what I did was I went to uh, my uh, Thinkorswim platform, and I kind of just took a stab at um, maybe this is what, what Neil's plans to do. Uh, but but I, I, this is just my guess, though. Uh, so I did a 10-point wide... Um, vertical spread, uh, put vertical spread on SPX. Uh, and it's also, I did it about like 30 days out because they, they said they were planning uh, monthly. Uh, so this is just, what, again, this is just my guess. And I started off at the 30 Delta. So assuming they that they can get $2.25, uh, you know, look at on an average, um, you know, 225 over 775 risk is about 29%. So 29 plus 4 may be 33% uh, on an annual basis. And the reason and, and how you get this is that uh, because like the difference between the strikes less whatever you collect as a premium is your risk. So I did 225 over 775. Um, and so that's how I got that number. So, I mean, Assuming this is what they can do, it might not be that bad, uh, especially if you can get, uh, I mean, I guess like depending on like like a few factors, like the expense ratio and if they can actually get this um, that high. Uh, but if they do something like maybe like a 5%, um, um, excuse me, not 5%, like a five point wide, uh, uh, put vertical spread, uh, the the premium might be, well, will probably be lower, um, and then the, your risk will correspondingly higher. So, you know, I, this is, would be like the like the optimistic scenario. So it could be uh, wind up uh, lower uh, when, they, when this does uh, finally come out. 
but I think in general, uh, this is a good thing. Uh, I think they're trying uh, different things. Um, Neos might be able to outperform like whatever the old um, mutual fund was trying to do. Uh, but I still think like you might want other income-based investments just to kind of uh, balance this out, just in case this turns out to be a flop. Um, so again, like you, you know, the usual risk, like you don't have any uh, choice of of what the strikes would be. Although, um, if Neos can find like a different uh, kind of like a, maybe like a different strategy than what like for example like what uh, THTA can do. Uh, like for example, if they move uh, closer to the money, uh, you know, then you can have a choice of like maybe you're looking at theta like THTA and kind of compare like what you want, um, and then you know, so that in a way could be a good thing. Um, the implied volatility for the SPX though, uh, unfortunately, will probably trend down, especially if the market keeps going up. So the you know the the spreads might not be that that profitable uh, and of course like you know the, the actual price of the stock or actually the ETF could get lower uh, just because they're using a uh, high yield bonds uh, and you know unfortunately that entails more risk um, I don't anticipate this to be uh, like a consistent yield from month to month uh, even though like they're using like bonds as a base like the price of bonds itself uh, could, could move a lot, especially if they cut interest rates uh, next year. Uh, of course, you probably won't be able to borrow against them either. Uh, and again, as I mentioned before, um, they're using riskier high yield bonds. So in case like, you know, there might be some deadbeat companies uh, within this ETF um, that could really, really hurt returns. Um, and this is kind of a weird strategy. Uh, you're mixing both um, high yield bonds and uh, SPX um, put spreads so I guess like you know I, I guess I, I would probably be fine if they um, you know kind of like maybe did like high yield bonds but maybe do like a cover call on top of it or maybe like a like spreads on like the bond indices itself uh, but I mean I guess you know in a way you know uh, let, let's see how they do first uh, because this is all preliminary it might not even be approved even uh, so just like you know, just like some some news for you guys. Uh, if you like this type of content, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, sometimes like going through like the SEC dumpsters is is hard work. Uh, although sometimes like you might find like some weird stuff. Uh, so you know, I'm happy to, to bring this uh, stuff to you guys. Uh, so thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate all the new subscribers uh, and. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.